chains and the shackles of the enemy off of the minds of those that are the Bible says that are taken captive by Satan at his will and we should pray that God will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth God does not force his truth upon anybody he does not force his word upon anyone but he gives it and gives men the opportunity to come to him. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Brother Williams. And uh, we're living in days, ladies and gentlemen, that are very, um, as the Bible calls them, perilous times shall come. And, and indeed, these times are here. Deception will become more and more prevalent. And out in the open as we enter into the end times. Jesus said it would happen, and we are seeing it happen even now, ladies and gentlemen. Deception is uh, widespread. Before I get started in the message, I want to say that if you appreciate uh, the messages, the words that uh, I bring forth, um, as I believe that are from the Spirit of God, then I would ask that you would help support this ministry by liking the videos, sharing the videos, um, and also subscribing to my YouTube channel. That would be greatly appreciated. You know, sharing the videos and 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 hitting that like button, it's very important uh, because it helps the ministry to grow. It helps the word to get out. And, if, and so if you are uh, in favor of what I'm doing, please, by all means, hit that like button and share these videos. And also, if you are so led by the Spirit of God to donate financially, uh, that would be appreciated as well. It's not a must, but I'm asking that if you would, if, if, if you so do, uh, if that is something that's in your heart to do, then yeah, I would greatly appreciate it. Amen. The Lord Jesus is soon to return. But he told us, before he returned, he told us to watch. He told us to be prayerful, uh, to, to be looking for the signs. And as I said at the beginning, deception is becoming very, very prevalent nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. I want to speak on the subject today. Another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. There are many people that are coming forward today camouflaged as presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, pretending to be a part of the body of Christ, but their lives does not align with what they profess. You know, Jesus said, by their fruit, uh, we will know them. They will be known by their fruit. Amen. So I believe Jesus knows what he's talking about. And so a person can say a lot. You know, a person can say many things. But you don't look at what they say. You look at what they do. And if their, li their lives are not lining up with what they say, then they are not genuine. So we speak a lot about these things. Where can we find application? Well, let me read this scripture here first in Matthew, the 24th chapter. This is the warning that the Lord Jesus gave to his disciples, and it is also applicable to us today. 
Jesus said in Matthew 24, verses 4 and 5, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we put our hopes, we put our trust in men, in personalities, and a lot of times we end up being deceived by these people because we trust them so much. You know, the Bible even talks about uh, there were some that would have men's persons in admiration. In other words, they would admire men so much uh, because they feel that it is a, an advantage for them. They can get something out of it. You know, that's why many people flock to uh, major ministries, big mega churches, and different things of this nature and, and, and personalities because they, they want to get something out of it. Uh, not something godly, but something carnal. And so the Bible warns us against this. And Jesus said to take heed that no man deceives you. No man deceive you. Brothers and sisters, you, you know, we need to analyze that statement because, like I say, too many are putting their trust, their salvation, in the hands of a man or a woman. He said, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Many will come in Jesus' name. Not only we've seen people come to and saying that they are Jesus, but Jesus is also saying many will come saying, I represent Jesus. I represent the Messiah and shall deceive many. And we are seeing this happening especially in our day and time, ladies and gentlemen. How do I mean? Well, you know, just take, for instance, the saying, many people tell you, have a blessed day. Saying, many people tell you, have a blessed day. And it's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But, the person that said that is their life lining up to what they are proclaiming. We get into being spiritual, and that's what the Bible calls having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. What am I talking about? All right, I'm going to just show you a couple examples of some a couple of well-known individuals. Uh, many look up to. Many idolize, more or less. But these people, their lives are not genuine. Amen. Michelle Obama. I guess she has a book out now called The Light We Carry. Then we have a Robin Roberts. Uh, she's a lesbian. And uh, she said she's going to marry uh, her partner, Amber Lane this year but yet and still she prays on good morning america every morning she gives out uh motivational words and uh these sorts of things and like i said i'm going to give you an example of what she is saying and it sounds good but the lifestyle doesn't add up and like i'm say i said ladies and gentlemen before michelle obama we've seen her moral character. We've seen how she has uh, encouraged a young man, 12 years old at the time, to transition into being a female, the son of a well-known uh, sports athlete. But like I say, we look up to these people. And this book she, she has written, whatever, the light we carry. But what light is that? You know, I remember Jesus speaking about a light. He said, take heed that the light which is in you be not darkness. So what I don't know what light she's referring to, but it's definitely not the light of Jesus Christ. So we have these people, ladies and gentlemen, looking spiritual, looking godly. They have a form of godliness, but they are denying the power. Robin Roberts, speaking things about God, using God, the name of God, but yet she is in a lesbian relationship. Does she think God is okay with that? 
No, God is not okay with that. And brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I really feel pity for these people that have allowed themselves to be deceived by the great deceiver, Satan himself. The word of God is true. We read from the book of 2 Corinthians 11, verses 3 and 4. Listen to what Paul says. He says, but I fear lest by any means, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve, through his subtlety, the certain beguiled, the certain trick, the serpent deceived Eve through his subtlety. He didn't come right out and say, if you eat this fruit, your eyes will be open and you'll be as God's word of God. But he you know, planted a seed of doubt into the mind of Eve. And Satan is deceiving people today through subtlety, meaning small increments. They are being deceived. Now, these people I just showed you, Michelle Obama, Robin Roberts, they are speaking wonderful words, it seems, the light we carry. I mean, that sounds like that's something from God. But they are deceiving people in small increments, being subtle. This is the way the enemy works. He is subtle. He's just not always out in your face. But he sometimes uses subtlety to deceive. It's just like uh, uh, many have said, when you boil a frog, you don't throw him in the hot boiling water, but you gradually heat it up as he begets more comfortable with what the environment that he is in. And this is the, the, the issue also, ladies and gentlemen. The church has become comfortable with these, the environment that we are in. We see things happening that are against God all around us. We say nothing. We keep silent. We just say, you know, we need to love. We need to show the love of Christ. What they do we well. need, that's not what the Bible says. It says not to be in agreement with the workers of iniquity, but to reprove them. Show them where they're wrong. Anyway, Paul says, For if he that cometh preaches, listen, another Jesus for if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, whom which ye have not received, another spirit, keep those, keep keep these three in mind, ladies and gentlemen, another Jesus, another spirit. Or another gospel, which ye have not accepted. Another gospel. So we see there's another Jesus being preached in our times. There's another spirit that is being, another um, spirit has entered in our times. And another gospel. The gospel of Jesus, of Jesus Christ says that he that cometh to me deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. They that live godly in Christ will suffer persecution. Uh, any man that names the name of Christ, let him depart from iniquity. But we see the gospel being preached today. Oh, it's okay. The grace of God is sufficient. The grace of God covers all of that. Uh, God doesn't expect anything out of you but just to love him. You know, so there's another gospel being preached. There's another spirit that many are being deceived by. And then there's another Jesus that many are preaching. And then we move on down in the 11th and the 14th verses. I mean the 14th and the 15th verses. Paul says, and look, no marvel. no, It's no great wonder. For Satan himself is transformed into what? An angel of light. Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan, the devil, the dragon, he has the ability to transform himself as an angel of light. Many people said they have been visited by angels and all of this stuff, and, and, and they're looking you know, for angel visitations. Many of these angel visitations are demonic. 
brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. And so, and then listen what he says. And then, uh, it is therefore no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. If Satan can transform himself into an angel of light, the scripture says it's no great thing that his ministers can also transform themselves as ministers of righteousness. Now understand this. See, this is a problem a lot of time with the church. We just keep everything focused, that everything happens in the church arena, in the Christian arena. And we don't see nothing that's happening in the world. And that's where we uh, a lot of times get to see. We just want to keep everything in the lead uh, between the walls of the church. You know, but things are happening all around us. Being a minister of righteousness doesn't always mean being a minister of the gospel. A minister is a servant. A minister is someone that brings you a, a, a service or brings you a message. And so... We have ministers of Satan deceiving. Michelle Obama is not a preacher, but yet she's ministering in this book called The Light We Carry. I don't know what it's all about. Uh, Robin Roberts is not a minister of the gospel, but yet she is ministering uh, with her New Age occultic teachings, although she, men she mentions God. So Satan ministers, whoever is ministering a uh, uh, false doctrine, a false gospel, is a minister of Satan. Let me give you an example of what uh, Robin Roberts subscribes to. And I think uh, this is a prayer more or less, that she recites uh, during the Good Morning America show. And so this is what it says. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. That, is sound, that sounds so wonderful. That sounds so assuring. You know, and in a way, it is assuring if you are in Christ. But listen to what the last part of it says. Wherever I am, God is. So this is saying God is subject to you. You're not subject to God. God is subject to you. Wherever I am, God is. Now, you know, <laughs> like I say, this is New Age, and I'm going to show you that it's New Age and that it's uh, a spirit, spirituality, it is spiritualistic in its origins. I'm going to show you that in just a little bit. Now, she gets her teachings from this man, James Dillard Freeman. Um, uh, and this is just a little bit of his uh, biography. James Dillard Freeman was a poet and a minister of the Unity Church, a New Thought denomination. New Thought, did you catch that? New Thought. And this is what a lot of ministers of the gospel are getting their positive messages from, from New Thought theology. There's a book written by uh, a man in the early, uh, 1800, late 1800s, uh, early 1900s, I believe, Think and grow rich. New age, new thought. We've seen Will Smith talks about the universe, uh, casting your thoughts out to the universe, and the universe begins to work to bring what you are thinking to pass. Books by uh, Oprah Winfrey endorsed. Um, the Secret. All of these things. And a lot of Christians have these books in their catalog. And they are gleaning from these books, trying to mix the gospel with these New Age teachings. In other words, I, I won't go a whole lot into his uh, background, but the thing about it, you need to understand, he's a New Age uh, 
teacher and the, and the unity church they use christ they use god the word god uh they talk about these things their basic philosophy i believe is just about loving uh and uh you know uh caring uh for people and there's nothing wrong with that in a sense but we have to understand uh god did not call us just to love people but he called us to show people, point people to him, to have people to come out of their sin. Amen. So, there it is, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Another Jesus, another spirit, another gospel. And the church is being swallowed up by these, these false spirits, these antichrist spirits, and they are trying to mix it with the gospel of Jesus Christ, and it will not work. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have given you the word of God. I've shown you the scriptures. I've shown you examples of how uh, another Jesus is being preached, of how another spirit is being introduced into the world, into the body, how another gospel is being taught. Gird up yourselves, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Gird up the loins of your minds that you won't be deceived. As Jesus said, take heed that no man deceives you. This is Brother Williams. Be blessed as you follow the Lord, as you seek after him with all of your heart. Until next time. It's gonna rain, it's gonna rain, a thousand